Hello everybody, it is I, Sakamoto here, with another Let's Play of a new game that's not new, or kinda new, six years old, or seven years old, or whatever is new at this point. Anyways, this is Undertale. Uh, yeah, i played and beaten this game a bunch of times. I love it. I think it's a great game, despite all the people that think the fandom is crazy, but I don't consider myself part of the fandom of anything because I just, I live alone, I spend my own time doing my own things, having my own fun, and I, I mean, I sit there and I just enjoy this stuff. I don't know how to explain it other than that. This guy's mad because I reset the game a bunch of times, and he's like, why do you keep resetting the game? That thing, if you don't already know, that pisses this guy off more than anything else, I think. Um, he, he even talks about it. He's like, you have the power. You'll, you'll find out later. Anyway. See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but you can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Okay. Down here, I love this chat too. I don't know what voice to do for this guy. I'm trying out different stuff. I'm sorry. Little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. Hey, that'll work. Hey, buddy, you missed them. Let's try again, okay? Is this a joke? You brain dead. Run into the bullets. And then he changes it to friendliness pellets. <laughs> you know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Die! Whoa. Hey. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, carrier, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way, sorry for breaking character there. Uh, I watch a lot of Smosh, so I don't think about it sometimes. Anyway. Oh, my old file's overwritten, but that's okay. I only ever got to the beginning of Lake Snowden Town. I don't even think I got into Snowden Town yet. I think I just saved right before I got there. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. Okay. <laughs> one must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. Hold on a second, what does it say? Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. So I love this song so much. The music in this game, I don't know what the best thing about this game is, but the music might be it. I'm not sure. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones you need to, that you need to flip. Okay. Sakamoto, you're gonna... Press E to read the signs. Sakamoto, you're gonna hear the song playing on loop over and over. I'm sorry, it's been a while, okay? Stay on the path. It's very nostalgic. Oh shit. Okay, there's a switch there. We hit the switch. <laughs> Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. The switch doesn't even work. So yeah, I'm using my keyboard because my controller isn't working on this game right now. Uh, whatever. I don't care. Yeah, hopefully it's okay with you guys. You hear clicks every now and again from it. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. 
You encounter a monster, you enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won. Okay. Ah, oh, very good. You are very good. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. I think she just said something different than what she said last time that I did that. It's like uh, Donnie Darko. It's like uh, because he keeps repeating the same universe over and over again until he figures it out. Every, I don't know how. I'm not going to go into it further than that because it's a little bit convoluted, complicated, and it'll take too long to explain. And you guys just want me to want play this game and not talk about Donnie Darko. So I'm not going to do that right now. Froggett didn't understand what you said, but was flattered, anyways. Thanks, Tori. I look at her face. She's like, get out of here. And then she. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, my lady. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Okay. This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Aw, thanks, mommy. I love you, mommy. You're so sweet to me. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Really? Because I'm fine. I can't even get hurt by the other ones. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Okay. Gosh. This music. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was nearly behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there is an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence, you must attend some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Thanks, Mommy. I love you, Mommy. I'll see you later. Hello, this is Toria. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. It would be good, alright. I wonder what happens if you actually listen to her and stay in there. Like, probably nothing, I imagine. Ribbit, ribbit, excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act as a... A little frog sound. I guess like that. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If the monster does not want to fight you, please use the mercy human ribbit. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. We can get gold if you do stuff, but with him, but I didn't really feel like it. I'll do it in the next Wimson. Wimson? It's a, it's a Froggit. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply, Ribbit. Listen to the music, guys. Alright, I'll stop. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting that we're gonna hear these songs a lot anyways. I just, man, this, the music in this game is so good. It says take one. Take a piece of candy? Yes, you took a piece of candy. Cool. I'm gonna be cool guy and not take more than that even though I think you can. Cause that is the Sakamoto way. Okay, Froggit. Hello. Enjoy your compliment. Oh shit. You're doing a different thing. 
Yay, more monies. I'm gonna fall down here, I think. And figure it out. Nothing, okay. Wait, I wanna go back because there was another room. And I kinda forgot what's over there. You gonna do this to me? Damn you, froggit! Damn you, I say. Okay, that is forward. I know, it's like this is the way to go. And the other way, I think, takes you somewhere, you, whatever. Oh, uh, she wants to know if I like cinnamon or butterscotch. And the, yep, here's the Tangent Universe stuff, guys. Hee <laughs> hee, I had a feeling. When humans fall down here, strangely, I, I often feel like I already know them. Truthfully, when I first saw you, I felt like I was seeing an old friend for the first time. Strange, is it not? Well, thank you for your selection. And... Hello, this is Toria. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn off your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Should I explain Diet Arco to you guys at all? I mean, you can look it up. If you want, really want. I mean, a lot of people have different interpretations, but there are certain things that are like true that the director explains in, in this book, the philosophy of time travel, I think that comes with like the director's cut of the DVD copy of the movie or something. I, it might be on the DVD itself and not an actual physical copy of the book. I don't know. I never owned it. <sighs> I just know what I read about elsewhere, basically. Oh, okay, we got the freaking candy already. I'm thinking of some other spot. I'm a dum-dum. Let's just keep going. How much health do I have? Where's my health button? Crap. Okay. I don't need... Really, oh. Okay. 10 HP. Cool. You got a four gray rocks recommend you push them. Okay. Hey, it's another Whimson. We can do the thing now. Halfway through your he, I'm trying to console him and it says, halfway through your first word, Whimson bursts in Whimson bursts into tears and runs away. Okay, so I get no gold either either way. Wait a minute. Hold on a second, isn't this rock supposed to like Whatever. You know, all this weird stuff that's happening because I've been here so many times, right? Holy crap. Am I going to get this on my first try? I usually fall down there. Didn't you read the sign downstairs? What sign? Should I go down there? Oh, that's the one. I was, that's the part I'm thinking of. Uh, please don't step on the leaves. Very funny. Very, very funny. Oh, shit. Now it's happening because I chose to do what I just did. Just like all this other stuff's happening because I reset the game again. Yay. Oh, jibba doo doo da blah blah. No, I'm not using that. Oh, I didn't understand what you said, but was spotted anyway. Oh, can you just be a frog on the bottom right again? Never mind. That was fine. Got more money. Still got more money. I'm not singing Rihanna, you're singing Rihanna. Yeah, another fight. Oh, Jesus. Uh. Oh, these are the guys that you can spare automatically, but do funny stuff. You wiggle your hips, molds fall, wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. Burble, blurb, scorch, lol. Okay, I'm done. One gold. I'm rich. Thank you, mold smalls. That's what I get for flirting with one of you, I guess. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? 
Hmm, that was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. Is that helpful? <laughs> hmm, you wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Good, you need the exercise, fatty. I'm just kidding. It was a bad joke, I'm sorry. Squeaking mousies. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese fills you with determination. Sweet. Good luck, Dr. Mr. Massey. Oh, I love this part, and I love the song that plays when you... Here we go. Zzzz. Oh, they gone. Yeah, Zzzz. This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? Yes. Enough stop, look. You gave Nap stop like a patient smile. Hey. Nap stop look just looks a little bit better. Looks just a little bit better. I just weigh you down. Really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. Guys, I just want to stay here in this list for a minute. You can skip ahead if you want. Alright. I'll keep going. Oh, crap, I'm not using the controller. I forgot. Oh no, I forgot that. I had to do cheer. Now I got teardrops attacking me. Attack of the teardrops, everybody. Um, cheer. That's what we want. <laughs> yeah. Cheering seems to have improved in absolute. Now Stylebook's mood again. Stylebook wants to show you something. <laughs> Let me try. I call it Dapper Luke. Look. Do you like it? Yeah. Perhaps the look eagerly awaits your response. Oh gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. That's how he should talk, I'm sorry. Those last two lines was how he should talk, and I've just been like, Wee, Nepstablog, I love this part. Blah, 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 forgets to do character voice. Um, spider bake sale, all proceeds go to spiders. Spires. Spires, everybody. There's no D in spiders. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do I want a spider? What is. Okay, they gave me a donut. I guess I already gave it to him. I can't leave HD. Okay, this gives you a, a spider cider. This gives you. Stop. <laughs> this gives you um, spider donut. Yeah. This is the part I was thinking was where the candy was for some reason. Hmm. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down into the right. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. Yay! Spider food. Rip, ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling to say the least. Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if there's n their name isn't yellow. Ring. Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You'll want to leave room in your pockets for that. Thanks, Toriel. There's this one switch. 
Okay. Uh. Oh, miss a nigosp. I don't care. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a spare. That makes him happy. Shit. I'm to, okay. I didn't get any money. Great. I gotta go back to the save point. Cause I not I need to not be dying. Please don't battle me, monsters. I just wanna go get healed up. I gotta go heal up my boo-boos now. Alright. This song never gets old. But, you know, that's kind of, I guess, how video game works. Video game music kind of works in general. Is they try to make it super catchy and fun, so you don't get sick of it when it loops over and over. But that's cool. It makes the music really good. Uh, Vegetoid came out of the earth. What do we want to do? We want to talk dinner, buddy. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. So to be able to spare this guy, we have to catch the green vegetable out of those, and then we can do it. It might take you a few try tries, because it's usually, sometimes at least, it's not that easy. Ooh, four gold, yay. We just go in this little tube thingy, and then we check out these other holes. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> you found a faded ribbon. <laughs> oh, I, I need that. That's armor, basically. Yay. Damn it! Come up, Eva. <laughs> I told you not to go into that hole. A woman has a TV. So at least we're a cop. Yeah, at least I finally scored. Sorry, those were horrible impressions of you as well. Hey, it's you again. I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on. Without me. Wait, close to fly. Get there. Oh well. That's how you should be taught. Yeah, that's how we should do the voice for him. Anyways. This game is so fun and goofy and cute. Okay, you again. Alright, let's do this. Am I gonna be able to get the green vegetable? Oh, she isn't it. Yeah, I got it. Cool. Owie. I got hurt anyways. He cackled softly. He, he knows that I got hurt. You little fart -mucker. Oh gosh. We got a Luke's now. I forgot. I think I have to pick don't pick on? Finally, someone gets it. Okay. And then I think we can spare him. Cool. We got five gold. Rad. Okay, what do we do here? Far door is, the far door is not an exit, it simply marks the rotation in perspective. Oh yeah, by the way, I just remember something. Sweet. Okay. Oh shit. I can go get some spider cider now. Alright, so we got blue on the left, yellow on the top, red on the right. Blue, yellow, red. Blue, yellow, red. Blue, yellow, red. Is this the blue one? Okay, well, that'll work. Um, hello again, loops. Different loops, I'm guessing. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so I did do the right thing. If you can read this, press the red switch. Holy shiznit. I just got called up close. Hmm, cha cha cha. Okay, into you, buddy. Alright. What am I supposed to do now? Red switch, got it. I'm 
here we have red on the left, yellow on the bottom, blue on the right. Looks in our way. Distracting us. But that's okay, buddy. Smells like eye drops, that's funny. Okay, so red on the left, yellow on the bottom, blue on the right. Uh, is it green? Nope, we fucked up. Great, now we get to start all the way back here. I don't need to use any items yet. Should I go get that spider cider? It's kind of far back though. But you kind of don't get another opportunity to go. Yeah. Well, that was cool, I guess. Where the spiders at? Give me that spider side up, biatch. I'm gonna get another donut too. Alright. And since we're here, we might as well heal up. What this save point? Alright, now let's go forward. Just had a random memory flashback of something that happened near the end of the game. Uh Right, you guys need this. <sighs> this guy doesn't have a care in the world. Cool. So we know the top one isn't the green switch, even though apparently, what the heck, okay, well that means this is the green switch. Sweet. Don't attack me monsters, yay. Oh hey, I think we made it to our final destination for now, at least for this part. Okay. Ribbit, ribbit, just between you and me. I saw Tori all come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. <laughs> okay. You can just pick it up automatically. I don't want no weapons. I just want to be an instant little pacifist boy. Or girl. Whatever. Um. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. <laughs> I'm here. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? A scratch. Impressive. But still, I should not have left you alone for so long. Well, it was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Oh, uh, well, I guess, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Okay, mommy. Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Smell that? Surprise! It is butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I'll hold off on snail pie for tonight. Oh god, snail pie. Here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. Room of your own. I hope you like it. This is so cute and sweet. Something burning? Um, make yourself a home. If I was Frisk, I would stay with this lady and not leave. It's just, or would I? I don't know. Hey, look at my reflection. So cool. You have seen this type of plant before, but do not know its name. Inside the drawer of flower seeds and some broken fans. Just a regular old bucket of snails. Okay. Tutorial's diary. Read the circled passage. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. Ah ha 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 ha. Most of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. Well, I want to read them. I love those kinds of jokes. Toriel's small chair. Its name is Cheriel. See? Beautiful. Ah, the cactus. Truly most tsundere of plants. Tsundere? You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. I can't stop looking at the socks. Yeah, you're right, I can't stop looking at them. 
I want to see if anything else happens. Okay. I guess it would say anything different if you kept doing that, but whatever. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. Okay, we already read that. Thank you. Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. That's all for Toriel's room. Wait. Oh, it is a water sausage. Oh, yeah, because we just read about it. Got it. Room under renovations. It's you! Hmm. Look at these cool toys. They don't understand. They don't interest you at all. No. Wait a minute. That's cool. I forgot about that. This game has so many cool little things in it. A box of kid-sized shoes and a disparity of sizes. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Okay, let's go talk to Toriel, I think, is what we need to do. Or we can just try to leave and see what happens. We go down those stairs and we can leave. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 21X. Um, I think I did try to leave before by just not even talking to her and she maybe comes after you or something. Or not. I don't know. Well, I think it's best if we talk to our mother because we're going to have to talk face her anyways, no matter what. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. Ha! <laughs> and so the tools have been filled down, filed down to make them safer. The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You can put your hand inside. How? It's fire! Fire is always dangerous. But hey, that's just my opinion. Maybe it's, maybe it's magic. That's probably what it is. For some reason, just like in SpongeBob, like how they can have fire underwater somehow. <laughs> Most of the time, at least. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. I read that good. <laughs> what a nice smell. Too hot to eat, though. Stove top is very clean. Tori almost used fire magic instead. Yeah, I was right. What a nice smell. Too hot to eat there. Inside the cupboard, the cookie cutters for gingerbread nuts. Okay. Wait, I think we looked at pretty much everything. Now it's time to talk to our lady friend here. Hello there, little one. The pie is not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap. Sure. Sweet dreams. You'd rather stay up and chat with me then? Um. I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared you a uh, I've, al I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Until your home. What? This, this is your home now. This is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It is called Seventy Two Uses for Snails. How about it? How to exit the ruins? Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? Interesting. I have to do something. Stay here. Can we check on this? Yeah, we do. Alright guys. The song you're about to hear is one of the best songs in the game, but and you could say that about most of the songs in this game, but yeah, anyways. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Be a good child. 
go upstairs. If I stop and just want to hear the song for a minute, I'm sorry. Um, let me just skip forward. <laughs> Every human that falls down he meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the room and say, Ascor, we'll kill you. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. And this is my fate, lady. To go through this underground world and explore it and get to the end of the game, basically. You want to leave so badly? You are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Toriel blocks the way. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. I tried talking to her. Toriel yeah, looks through here. Dot dot dot. You don't really have to worry about your health in this boss fight because once it gets really low, she'll stop actually trying to hurt you. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Toriel looks through you. Well, that's a magical attack. Press right? Well, it's through you. What are you doing? See, hold it. Attack or run away? Well, but that's a magical attack. Okay. What? What are you doing this way? I feel me. I could have given her a better voice, but I don't know. Whatever. Stop it. Stop looking at me. Okay, that was good. So let me. Toriel is actually moved. Go away. I'm gonna look through you again. Spare for you. I guess I didn't have to stop and enjoy the song anyways. It's looped a few times and already. Okay, well, there I go talking about the song just for it to disappear. Ha 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 Anyway. I know you want to go home, but. Please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Ah, uh, Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. Don't worry, lady. I got all the pro plot armor I need. I'm not gonna die. Oh, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, Please do not come back. I hope you understand. Goodbye, my child. I'm not crying, you're crying. Anyways, time to man up and keep going. <laughs> yeah. Toxic masculinity at its finest. Anyways, no, I'm, I'm good though. <laughs> oh man, that was so sad. I, I, fuck me, I'm really sad now. But that's okay, because we're about to enter somewhere where we're not going to be sad after this. Clever, very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. 
You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> Bet you feel really great. Didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you kill <laughs> frustration? <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. I am the prince of this world. Sorry, guys. This is why movies have so many friggin' bloopers. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. Okay. I just changed his voice like five times. You know what? He changes his face a lot. Maybe his changing voice could be canon anyways. So it kind of works. No way. Undertale. Here's Thundertale by Toby Fox. Sorry, I tried to do a video game donkey impression. It was terrible. His, his Undertale video is really good. He does a great job of... Yeah, anyway. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. There's a camera hidden in the bushes! What the frick? Okay. Whatever. Anyways. I like this stick. It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. But it broke for some reason. Far away from me. Can you guys look at the shadows? Yeah. There he was for a second. The tree shadows back there. You'll see them in a second. It's everybody's favorite character in this game. Question in the hand trick. Wait a sec. Have you heard it before or something? You turn around before I said to. Weird. Whatever. You're a human, right? I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, the pirate, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through it. I probably made the bars too wide to stop anyone. <laughs> Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I do not have time for that. <laughs> what if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard! People will ask, too. Be my friend! Friend? Sorry. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you're not helping, you lazy bones! All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey. Take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work to get done today. A skeleton. Sans! Come on. You're smiling. I am and I hate it. <laughs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Oh, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Ugh. I will attend to my puzzles. As for you, as for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> Alright then. 
Okay, you can come out now. You ought to get going. You might come back, and if he does, I'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Sorry if I'm getting a little British there. I'm still in Shovel Knight mode a little bit, I think. Um, so earlier, the flower had said something, and it doesn't matter now, actually. Hey, I hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. It goes the other way. This is where I got to in the last game, and saved, and like, reset from. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna end episode one here, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and had a good time with me, even though, um, some of my delivery on some of those lines was a little bit blah. But, you know, I'm not really a pro actor, obviously, and I'm kind of winging it, and having to, like, you know, I don't know, sight read the stuff and get the line out right away, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I guess you guys don't care. You're here to watch me play this game and have fun. That's what we're here for, so. Oh, yeah, this is a, this is a box so you can put stuff in it, basically. And you can only carry this many items throughout the game, as far as I'm aware, so. Uh, let me put this in here. So I'm not going to be using it anytime soon, if ever. Um, we also need to put one of these, no, this, mm, you know what, that's fine, we'll worry about it later. Alright guys, this is the first episode, of, this was the first episode of Undertale, with, hold on a second, let me do this, I guess. You make a bad ice fun. Heh, <laughs> nice try. So this guy is a comedian, he likes jokes. Snowdrake is smiling at its own bad joke. I think if you laugh... Oh no. He's like, what are you laughing at? He did say something funny. He said he was laughing at his own joke. You make a bad ice pun. I've heard that one before. Fine, let's try Heckle. See if that does anything. This guy's confusing, because I think you have to go in a certain order. I'm trying to do my outro over here. This guy wants to fight me. Is your flesh burning? Or something. I don't know what he says. Okay. Maybe I need to try to spare him? Nice to meet you. Howdy. No? I think I was supposed to laugh then. I don't like fighting this guy, he's so annoying. Okay, there we go. I think you just like have to wait till he makes it. <laughs> you have to make a... You have to make... You do the laugh when he does the ice pun, and then you get 12 gold. Okay guys, let's try the outro again. <laughs> Thanks for watching, having fun with me. And I'll see you in episode two of Undertale here on my channel. And that's it. Have a great.